Hey guys, Couch C. Back with a video. I'm still a little rusty. I've pretty much only been playing live live poker for the last three months. Um, so definitely on the rusty side. I've been back playing online for like three days and starting to, to feel like I'm getting back into the swing of things. Um, yeah, thought I'd make a vid. I'm just going to call the eights. I don't think we ever want to raise like eights and nines. I think we want to raise like seven, eight and seven, nine where we have um, more equity. What is this? Uh, let me check return. I think against this size, I just, I think I just want to jam. I'm not super happy. I think I'm just going to jam. Uh, that's a fine result. Uh, eight. Tempting to buff, but I'm going to check. And just going to check the King Jack. I don't think we call. Similar to how I prefer to raise board pair plus straight blocker, I prefer to call those on, on river. With two eights, we can just block bluff. On the king jack. So we've got a couple of 200 zoom entries, a uh, 500 rag table, and we're trying to get on some more 500 rag tables. Uh, queen nine. I'm just gonna pure check turn. Also gonna have to be coming up. Like sizing note on um this guy. Uh, queen nine. I think we just take that river. Yeah, let's take a note. Three bet is considered full. BB first three. Um, I expect this checking range to be really unbalanced, so I'm gonna um start for protection. I don't like this though. I think I'm just going to follow. Very kind of. I, I, I think that guy's a recreational, so I'm not really. Um, I'm going to play that in the GTO way. Um, I think that's the only note we need to take there. I don't think there's three bets ever. If it does, it's like 10% of the time or something. <clears throat> um, do I ever want to stab Queen 4? Well, the first stab my backdoor straight draws with less showdown, like the 10 high and jack I want, so I'm just going to check this one. If I wanted to be like hype for GTO, I might mix like the tiniest bit of um, Queen X in there. But I'm just going to keep things simple and just stop like my 10 high and jack high diamonds occasionally and pretty much voice check the Queen high ones. I'm just realizing you won't be able to see this, will you? Spec OBS. What can you see on the. Oh god, that's. <laughs> that's really uh, disorientating. It's a very interesting turn back with eights, though. I don't like it at all. But, fair enough. 
Um, but free bet against a, a thumb player. My delay size is going to be the third or a half there. I'm going to go the third. Not always going to delay this time, but I will this time. Just going to go for a tiny bet here. And river, we can go big, we can go small. I don't think I ever want to check this hand. I'm going to go small this time. This is interesting. I'm going to call one here. Getting like five to one. Just gonna fall turn. Queen seven, I think, is just gonna be a mix. It's not that relevant blocking seven six. I think his seven six stops flop a lot. Uh, what happened here? We go for the range bet. Um, just gonna randomize fold this time. Start off with a small bet here with the Ace King. Still recreational. <clears throat> nice thing about small betting Ace King there against um, fun players is that you keep in worse hands um, so that when you turn the pair, they often turn a dominated pair. I think it's probably just going to be overfolded too. Probably should have folded this given how aggressive the button looks. Jack, we roll three bets. King four diamonds. Gonna check this time. I think I'm just gonna pure check this hand. Big blind's pretty passive here as well. Um, so we get to go to showdown against king and queen high a lot more than even like 10 highs. Um, so there's two very aggressive fun players behind me, so I'm going to fold. Square so open. This guy's Playing wide, but not actually three betting all that much. I guess it's 28 hands, so we don't really know, but I'm gonna open a little wider into a third one there. Gonna assume we have enough post slop edge to make that profitable. The zoom pool's really good right now, it feels. Yeah, wow. 28 entries, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 fun players, maybe 8, I think this guy's also fun. I, I would I say this sometimes. I'm just going to follow up the jack turn. I hate the idea of stabbing this on a aggressive roll, but we don't roll aggressive. And gonna squeeze points. Fourteen and a half seems good. Uh yeah, I don't mind stabbing this on the turn some. So we have a jack. But in these limp pots, I've got a feeling I might actually just want to be able to battle jack on the turn and 
essentially further rise to two power. Because I think in limp pots, I'm I haven't studied limp pots much, uh, but what little I do know is that um, like your medium strength pants don't really matter. It's all about the nuts and like trying to get loads of money in with the uh, with the nuts. Um, so I might just want to be polar to two power here. Like I have so much two power that. I pro and like not much good jack x so yeah i think this is a mistake i think i should be polar to two pair letting me uh let me turn here interesting he checks this board i'm uh suspicious i'm very suspicious feels like a a6 uh with quite a passive fun player on the button i will I'll just pure open the fives. I really feel like this guy has a6. Do I want to bluff the river? Sometimes. Go on that. I still have like all the over pairs here. And obviously a bunch of good jackets. All of that. All of those want to use the sizing. This hand actually three bets some four folds. At least in my ranges. Did we get that through? We got through nice. I'm gonna open smaller because he's got 35 bigs. I think against half I'm gonna fold, especially the king of spades. And he's not see that the prior two flops. Two aggressive fun players, one of them who's sure I'm gonna fold. Balls are occasionally cool. Gonna do it this time. I want to start balls. I think I do. Not very often. Don't think this guy's playing quite wide enough to defend this first 2.75x. And now I think on the turn we never bet fours. I think we just want to be equity driven. Not sure though. Three three way pots are uh, very tricky. Just kind of go with my intuition. And I don't think people are fours. I'm going to upgrade this guy to very fun. Playing 86 0. Given he's playing so wide, I might just actually stab. Uh, Green call against a fun player. I'm not going to join this table actually. Uh, when the zoom falls so good and it didn't look like a very good table. Uh, Queen 10, I don't mind checking back sometimes. Let's go second if not. I can start this time. Uh, I think this guy's range is like mega weak, so I'm just going to go fucking crazy. Goes debating loads, which means I think his checking range is going to be really cut. So even though this will probably mix in theory, I think I like just betting the value. He's ten going to call. A ten eight is a mix. Like do a straight draw. With a heart, I don't mind betting sometimes. I'm not going to range bet this one though with the low connectivity, which really favors him. Um, kind of lost with this ace turn. Uh, I'm just going to do a check, I think. Do I ever get to have random stabs? I don't think so. 
I'm gonna fold, I don't really know. I feel like my hand's probably a mix. Um, 10 high, I think I'm gonna bluff now. Go one big blind with a king, or like bigger with an ace. I'm gonna go for the bigger one this time. Uh, sevens, against this huge size, I think we met. Uh, King Jack. I feel like I want, I want to be three betting this size loads. Like I don't want to do too much blabbing, but this hand obviously will flat. This is a lovely situation. Just no 10 on the turn. 10 would really suck. Uh, King Jack, I think we float one. King's gonna fall back. Beautiful. And really annoying, we just have to fold. And a beautiful flop here. Really clean run out. 10 9 suit gets that, but we have the easiest snap of our lives. Uh, I think King specifically just wants to jam. That's really annoying. I think this is mostly give up. Oof. Oof. Bit cooler. Uh, jamming. Yeah, unfortunate. Uh, some five. I like betting this one with the spades because we can really happily call a check raise. I think this is a hand that can even um three bet the flop actually if we get raised. These like pair flush backdoor flush draw and backdoor straight draw. Uh, I'll over limp for deuces. Gotta play your favorite hand. Upgrade this guy to extra fun. All right, cool. Cool, and the deuce on the floor. Oh, is this guy gonna fall? Uh, pretty bad. Fuck. Uh, ace nine, I think we actually do mix some three bet here. Is uh drilling uh cut off big blind this morning actually. And yeah, we do do some free betting with these like junky medium oscillators. Just three quarters. Three quarters. Eight. Eight is really close. Okay, I'm going to call one. Ooh. We definitely got that. <laughs> King nine, okay. Worth taking a note. Uh, King Jack's gonna fall, but sometimes cool sometimes. Taking a note now. Uh, King Jack, do we have a raise? Uh, 
I'll just throw in a little raise here. I think I do occasionally. Like super occasionally. Like we have way more flushes than him here. Because like um the ace and the jack just remove so many of his flush combos, but we still have all the middling ones. Like he's not really three bedding, seven eight suited much. And just easy check down, probably gonna lose to like a7 suited, but or like pocket kings or queens, but it is what it is. Don't think we ever get to. I don't even know if it would be a buff, it would like just be a merge bet. <laughs> I thought this was the board when we had <laughs> loses there would have had the boards, but no. Freeze less hard. I think we fold freeze just because we have way less equity than like sevens because we can get counterfeit way more easily and we also don't have the backdoor straight draw. So I think should be under like the deuces through fives is just a fold versus half fold. Um, I'm gonna fold fives because this guy's really short. Like, um, like if stacks get shorter, the the small pocket pairs go way down in value. I'm having an annoying session where we are running. Great at one two, and then uh, trash at two five. <laughs> so our big blind a hundred will look good, but uh, I just gonna arrange for this one. Uh, gonna open really large. This guy's playing. Way too many hands. Like min raising's a massive mistake against someone be pipping. Um does this find four bets? I know Queen Line finds some four bets. I've got a feel oh wait, we're super deep. I think we just fold. I think we just fold. Yeah, against against people with B pips over fifty, if you're like min opening you're Losing a lot of EV. It's a tiny bit bigger. And this ace call on the turn might have been. Like in theory, I don't think it's good. Uh, I didn't expect a fun player. I'm not 100% sure this guy's a fun player. I, I mean, he's 3 bet 12 bigs in position. Like, he probably is. Uh, I think we do. Do some just flatten. I don't think this is a pure three, but I think ace queen suited pure. I don't think ace jack is. This guy's falling to a lot of seabirds. So. Uh, 
I was gonna do some raising here. Now this support I will have a seabed range on, uh, just really small. Yeah, this is so cool. Uh, yeah, gonna open big. Uh, so he's down to 46 feet, but so I'll just use three instead of three and a half. Um, this guy's got jacks in his range. Threes. So you have a three suited, probably not. I think I'm just gonna fold. Uh, this is MP ten and a half. I think on this texture I use two thirds. I'm gonna check this time. King seven against two point two. Gonna mix in a three bet. And two thirds on the turn. I'm just going to bet my hand pure on blocking all the calls. And I'm just checking. And cool. I'm thinking of a river. That's not out. I like betting the lower over pairs to the middle card here. Sorry about that. This guy looks really powerful. This is a call in theory. I'm just gonna call. I'm not happy though, because this guy looks really passive. But it worked out. Better easy call the ace jack. Weird spot. He bets it's really ugly. Just call him. I was entertaining the idea of clicking, but I don't think we really want to do that in this spot. I guess I could stab low frequency. Gonna check this time. Uh, if I'm playing the blind, I'll call. I think we just check back ace jack, honestly. Ooh, nice turn. I'm actually going to go for a raise. Stab on an 18. 
We have a bunch of ace queen off. We have some king queen. Some ace jack. Some jack ten. I think the fady pocket pairs will get in there somehow. You're on three about the jet nine on a five or I'm just gonna check for King Queen. Hunter. I'm gonna bet small just to keep the, the worst hands in. That's a very nice river. When he just Check towards turn. I think he's pretty weak, though, so I don't. I don't think I'm going to go huge. Like, uh, I, th I, th I think he's really capped. Here. Ace queen. Yeah, could have got more value there, but it is what it is. How long have we been going? 31 minutes, alright. Gonna wrap it up. Uh, yeah, I think not the most interesting spots in today's, today's video, but um, Hope you guys enjoyed anyway. I'll catch you soon.